Hello everybody, welcome at WMNU IS, the leader in the preparation for the UPSC and state civil services examinations, which has so far produced more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years since its beginning in 1999. Myself, Dr. H.S. Sidhu, I have been and international relations teach Karta I have been mentoring the civil services aspirants for more than 15 years and I have authored many books also for the preparation of the UPSC and state civil services examinations. Before moving ahead, let me share an important piece of information with you. At Abhimanyu IS, we are commencing fresh batches for the preparation of the UPSC and state civil services examinations targeting 2023-24. These batches will be for the prelims and main both and uh, we are providing seven days free trial class also. If you want to join, you may click on the link given in the description. And uh, similarly, if anybody wants to uh, join the Indian economy module specifically, uh, then uh, he or she may do that also. For that purpose also, some free trial classes will be available. And to join that also, uh, there is a link in the description on which you may click. So, in the menu IS, we have a concept series. Chal rahi hai. इस कॉन्सेप्ट सीरीज के अंदर जो हमारे फैकल्टी मेंबर्स हैं वो अपने अपने एरियाज में से इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स व्हिच आर सिग्निफिकेंट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द प्रीलिमिनरी एंड मेंस एग्जामिनेशंस उनको डिस्कस करते हैं तो आज जो कॉन्सेप्ट में यहां डिस्कस करने जा रहा हूं दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड विद द इंडियन इकॉनमी एंड द नेम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट इज कैपिटलिज्म तो कैपिटलिज्म इज अ वेरी कॉमन टर्म as everybody knows, हम इसका sociology जब पढ़ते हैं, वहाँ भी capitalism term का use होता है, economy में भी होता है, and then political science में भी होता है, so that is why capitalism is one of the more, one of the various modes of production, okay? so one of the various modes of production, the various modes of production include feudalism, capitalism, socialism, communism. So these are the various modes of production or any modes of production may say ek mode of production hai jo capitalism hai. Capitalism ek wo mode of production hai jo uh, private property ke concept ke upar base karta hai jiske andar government ka interference hai jo wo ek form capitalism ki aisi hai jo hum bilkul bhi nahi hota ya bahut restricted interference rehta hai. Uh, we can say like that and uh, iske andar jo bhi economic activities uh, uh, log karte hain, jitne bhi economic actors hote hain, they do all the economic activities out of their self-interest and that is to make the profit and uh, the various decisions related with the uh, production, investment and distribution, those decisions are taken on the basis of the market forces of demand and supply. So, so this is the capitalism. So, chaliye hum is concept ko thoda detail mein dekhte hain. So, economic uh, system in which the private actors own and control property in accordance with their interest. So it means uh, capitalism is uh, an economic system. This ke andar, so private actors hain, wo property ko own karte hain, property ko control karte hain, in accordance with their interest. Unka apna interest hota hai. Is liye wo do economic activities mein engage hote hai. Jaysay Adam Smith ne ek bahut achhi baat kahi thi. Ke in capitalism, nobody will serve you the dinner out of the benevolence. Though it is a butcher, it is a brewer, or it is a baker. But they serve you the dinner out of their own self-interest and that is to make the profit. So, this is the gist of the capitalism we can say. So, Adam Smith ne baat kahi. So, ye ho gaya, private property ka concept ho. And uh, demand and supply freely set prices in the market. Or market ke andar, jo prices set hoti hain, those are set by the forces of uh, demand and supply. And 
in this way the interest of the society is uh, best served in the capital so this is the meaning of the capitalism we can say or this is what the capitalism is the essential feature of capitalism is the motive to make a profit so capitalism ke andar whatever we do we do it for making profit so it is the self interest that is the profit in capitalism that leads to economic prosperity to question aata hai fir ki agar sabhi apne apne economic interest ke liye uh, work karenge to maximize their profit work karenge to fir hum overall social good ko promote kaise karenge how the economic prosperity will be uh, you can say brought in so for that purpose what is said that uh, it is the self interest in capitalism that leads to the economic prosperity so ye self interest hi hai जिसके चलते हुए सभी एक्टर्स हैं जो वो अपने अपने सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट के लिए भागते हैं अपने अपने सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट के लिए इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज करते हैं एंड इन दैट वे द कंपटीशन इज द कंपटीशन प्रिवेल्स देयर एंड इन दैट वे द इनोवेशन एंड द रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट टेक्स प्लेस एंड इन दैट वे द ऑप्टिमम यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्स इज डन एंड इन दैट वे the consumer is provided the best quality goods at the lowest possible prices and this is how the economic prosperity is generated in capitalism so that's there but in socialism the state owns the means of production and state owned enterprises seek to maximize social good rather than profits but uh, socialism mein kya hota hai स्टेट मीन्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन को ओन करती है स्टेट ओन्स द मीन्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड स्टेट ओन्ड एंटरप्राइज सीक टू मैक्सिमाइज सोशल गुड राधर देन प्रॉफिट एंड इट इज द स्टेट ओन्ड एंटरप्राइज विच प्रमोट द सोशल गुड विच वर्क टू प्रमोट द सोशल गुड इन स्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग द प्रॉफिट सो दिस इज वॉट इज देयर इन द सोशलिज्म सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट पिलर्स ऑफ कैपिटल one is the concept of private property prevails there wherever there will be capitalism there will be the concept of private property second is the self interest as we have already discussed that in capitalism the various economic actors work for the self interest they indulge in the economic activities for their own self interest and that is to make the profit and uh, competition prevails there because there are uh, too many Uh, we can say uh, uh, sellers manufacturers and uh, producers and uh, too many buyers so competition prevails there we can say so because uh, uh, there is no restriction on the entry and exit of the firms so this is the point which is important to be noted that uh, the free entry and free exit of the firms uh, in it sell of uh, leads to serve the best interest of the society because uh, there will be too many forms and competition will be there among the forms and uh, out of that competition as i have already discussed that uh, uh, you can say the forms will try to make the optimum utilization of whatever the resources are available and uh, they will try to Uh, you can say make the innovations a okay, research and development uh, and uh, uh, you can say in this way the consumer is we can say empowered and uh, the welfare is promoted so then a market mechanism kyunki ek cheez aur hai ki capitalism ke andar jo bhi production hoti hai that is basically demand based production hoti hai because uh, uh, whatever will be there acceptable in the market whatever is the need of the consumers so according to that the producers you can say uh, uh, manufacture or uh, do the production that is the point there and then a market mechanism prevails there which determine the prices in a decentralized manner which in turn allocate the resources so there is market mechanism of demand and supply so it is according to that uh, Uh, that we can say the prices are determined there in the capitalism 
and moreover the allocation of resources is done accordingly because in the sector in which there is a more demand and in which there are more chances of that is the excellence we can say or the sector which is growing so in that sector the more investment is made in this way the this the allocation of resources is also guided by the market mechanism then freedom to choose with respect to production consumption and invest iske andar freedom hoti hai so a manufacturer may produce anything which is legitimate and uh, consumers are free to make choices because there are so many producers which are bringing different types of uh, products uh, diff- a variety of products before them and uh, similarly there is freedom uh, to choose for investment that it in which sector you want to investment there is no restriction related with that and a limited role of the government so government ka jo role hai isme wo limited rehta hai because uh, mainly market forces dominate karti hai so government uh, apna jo role hai usko yahan tak limited rakhti hai so that the rights of the private citizens may be we can say protected the citizens may not be exploited in that way and an orderly environment may be maintained for the functioning of the markets so that is the point there so next is different forms of capitalism so capitalism ki kaun si form prevail karti hai kisi jagah par so that depends on the extent to which the pillars of capitalism operate ki capitalism ke jo different pillars hain wo kaise operate karte hain ke upar depend karta hai so there are different forms of the capitalism one is the free market that is the laissez faire economies so in this the market operates with little or no regulation iske andar jo market operate karti hai Uh, that 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 operates with little regulation or there is no regulation at all uh, the you can say government doesn't interfere in the market that means the uh, various decisions related with the production investment and distribution are uh, taken by the market forces so that is there and second is the mixed economies right mixed economies ka jo concept hai wo basically popular hua hai 1929-30s के ग्रेट डिप्रेशन के बाद तो उस टाइम पे दिस वाज फेल्ट दैट इट इज नॉट ओनली द मार्केट फोर्सेस दैट आर सफिशिएंट टू वी कैन से प्रिवेंट द इकोनॉमिक डिजास्टर्स लाइक द डिप्रेशन दैट द गवर्नमेंट आल्सो नीड्स टू प्ले ए रोल टू सर्टेन एक्सटेंट in the market so 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 दैट इज वाई द मिक्सड इकोनॉमीज द ब्लेंड ऑफ मार्केट्स एंड गवर्नमेंट दो मार्किट्स प्ले ए डोमिनेंट रोल तो इसके अंदर मार्किट्स का एंड गवर्नमेंट का दोनों का ब्लैंड रहता है जो भी स्टेट अथॉरिटी होती है वो अपनी तरफ से यू कैन से एक रोल प्ले करती है टू सर्टन एक्सटेंट जैसे वो डायरेक्शन देती है दैट इंडिकेटिव प्लानिंग करती है दैट इन विच एरियाज वी नीड टू इन्वेस्ट ओके सो इन विच डायरेक्शन वी नीड टू पोल आर economy we can say so so such type of things are made jaise india ki economy ki hum example le sakte hain that it is a, a best example of the mixed economy in mixed economies the government role remains restricted wo humne already kar liya hai okay to take care of pollution traffic congestion promotion of social welfare and the and other reasons defense public safety etc so mixed capitalist economies are, are dominant डोमिनेट टूडे ओके सो आज की टाइम uh, पे ज्यादातर हम मिक्सड कैपिटलिस्ट इकोनॉमीज ही देख रहे हैं तो नेक्स्ट इज स्टेट गाइडेड कैपिटलिज्म तो स्टेट गाइडेड कैपिटलिज्म क्या है मोर रिसेंटली इकोनॉमिस्टर्स हैव गाइडेड फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म वन इज द स्टेट गाइडेड कैपिटल तो स्टेट गाइडेड कैपिटलिज्म वो कैपिटलिज्म होता है जिसके अंदर गवर्नमेंट decides which sector will grow so government indicate karti hai government direct karti hai government kisi particular sector ki growth ko support karne ke liye wahan tax concessions deti hai tax breaks deti hai uh, that that is a uh, uh, credit provide karwati hai at low rate of interest 
इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन स्कीम्स लेके आती है सो सो सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स तो दैट इज द स्टेट गाइडेड कैपिटलिज्म सो इट मींस द स्टेट अथॉरिटी इंटरफियर्स दैट इंटरफियर्स एंड ट्राइज टू इन्फ्लुएंस द डिसीजंस ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स दैट इट इन विच सेक्टर दे आर सपोज टू इंटरेस्ट टू इन्वेस्ट देन द ऑलिगेटिक कैपिटलिज्म so capitalism is oriented towards protecting and uh, enriching a very narrow fraction of the population so is iske andar kya hota hai that there are few groups uh, there are few capitalists we can say in number right jo apna ek group banate hain jo apne interest ko promote karne ke liye join karte hain and uh, so this is the point there economic growth is not a central objective and countries having this type of capitalism experience a great deal of inequality and corruption so iske andar kyunki wo jo ek group hai oligarch group hai jo to unka apna interest hai so uh, overall social growth that is not the we can say the uh, central theme their central objective there and that is why aise situation mein fir inequality zyada prevail karegi and corruption zyada hogi बिग फार्म कंपिटिशन टेक्स एडवांटेज ऑफ इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल बड़ी बड़ी फॉर्म्स आती हैं वो वेरी लार्ज स्केल के ऊपर प्रोडक्शन करती हैं वो इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल का बेनिफिट लेती हैं दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस फॉर द मास प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड इन दिस वे द मास प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इज फैसिलिटेटेड वी कैन से वो बहुत लार्ज स्केल पे प्रोडक्शन करती हैं एंड देन एंटरप्रन्योरियल कैपिटल सो एंटरप्रन्योरियल कैपिटलिज्म प्रोड्यूसर्स ब्रेक थ्रू ये वो कैपिटलिज्म होता है जिसके अंदर बहुत सारे जो इन्वेस्टर्स हैं जो इकोनॉमिक एक्टर्स हैं जो वो इनोवेट करते हैं नई नई चीज़ें एक्सप्लोर करते हैं नए एरियाज एक्सप्लोर करते हैं रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट करते हैं लाइक ऑटोमोबाइल्स की एग्जाम्पल है टेलीफोन की है कंप्यूटर की है दीज इनोवेशन आर यूजली द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स एंड न्यू फार्म्स तो ये जो इनोवेशन होती हैं ये इंडिविजुअल्स के प्रोडक्ट्स हैं न्यू फार्म्स के प्रोडक्ट्स होते हैं सो दैट मीन्स तो इसके अंदर बिग फार्म कैपिटलिज्म एंड एंटरप्रन्योरियल कैपिटलिज्म दोनों का एक कॉम्बिनेशन बनता है एंड दिस इज द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्म ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म इन द डे टू डे सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द टू डेज टॉपिक आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू इन केस यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू मे राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल बी हैप्पी टू address your query so thank you very much we'll see you again shortly uh, all the best